And finally tonight, WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us some old items for sale online have a lot more pull than others. In Corrington on the road to House Mountain, this is the type of tractor you'll normally find on the road. But around 1900, the engines that drove a hard day's work were more like trains than tractors. They ran on steam. And today, one of these relics sits on the property of Scott and Teresa Boyer, an heirloom that goes back several generations. Teresa Boyer says the original owner took this high-tech invention all around the region threshing wheat for farmers. Then he sold it to Joe Strong, who used it to saw all the lumber on House Mountain in the early 20th century. A lot of the wood was sold to TVA to build Norris Dam in the 1930s. But the Boyers are moving. They can't take this old steam tractor with them. So what do you do with it? Well, they did what a lot of people do these days, listed it for sale on Facebook. And Boyer says it took no time for this sale to pick up a full head of steam. She received more than 45 offers an hour, all to buy this old Russell engine. A lot of people told her she was selling it way too cheap at around $3,000 worth a lot more than that for the scrap metal alone. But the right price came with the right buyer, someone who will not slice it up. The buyer plans to restore it once he finds all the parts that may be lying on the ground and figures out how to safely get it out of the woods and haul it away. Boyer says she's still getting messages about this steam engine even a day after she deleted it from Facebook. All proving the oldest of inventions still have plenty of pull in the 21st century. In Corrington, Jim Athene, WBIR 10 News. Well, history lesson there, Todd. You've seen it. Yeah, mm -hmm. hiking up there is pretty cool. All right. Be great to see it restored, too. Yeah.